hey loves and welcome back to my channel i am ijoma and in today's video we are going to make this civil wedding dress it's been trending on instagram recently so i have uploaded how i made the turtleneck video so this is the video on how to make the dress itself so i already have the pattern i will link the pattern video the title of the video is how to make a bustier with a plunging a deep plunging like neckline how to make a bustier with a deep plunging neckline or a deep yoke so that is the pattern that i'll be using and this time around this one has a zipper allowance at the back so i will cut off the yoke for the back i'll also cut out the yoke for the front so i used a doll face material for this dress i couldn't find a milkado that i wanted so i had to use a doll face to make the dress and it was fine so i will use a white lace for the yoke and i will use my doll face for the fabric itself so this is the pattern i'll go ahead and cut out these patterns on my fabric so this is the front and the front is open if you watch that pattern video you notice that the center front is open so this is the yoke i have cut out the yoke on my lace they call this a jollof lace some call it english lace it depends on what you call the particular lace in your side so that is for the front and this is for the back this is the pattern for the back and this is the yoke for the back as well the yoke also has a zipper allowance so i cut out two pieces for the right side and for the back, left side of the back so here is the sleeve i used the lace for the sleeve so my sleeve is a long sleeve so right now i will go ahead and show you the skirt part so this is a skirt the skirt part i am making a three quarter gown for her so this is a three quarter i'll cut out the lining and i will turn everything so this is the fabric for the detail that is at the front you know it has a curved detail at the front at the front side it has this detail on the right and on the left side so the length of this detail i will make it like 27 inches or 28 inches and the wideness i will make it seven inches for now you can go ahead and make yours eight inches but for now the length is 28 and the wideness is seven inches so i'll go ahead and cut this out if you are making this for a fat person the full length should reach 35 maybe after fitting you can cut off the ss so the full length of this one is 28 and the wideness is seven inches so this is what i have right now so i'll go ahead and curve the front side the side that will be at the front i'll go ahead and curve it i'm sorry when i was marking this i didn't know that my chalk was not showing on camera so but you will see you will understand what i'm doing i'll go ahead and curve the upper part and the lower part of the front side so after curving it i'll go ahead and cut out i am curving only the front side the back side will still be normal so i'll go ahead and cut out that is the upper part and this is the lower part so you can see the shape of the curve for now so this one is for the right side i'll still go ahead and cut for the left side so if you are satisfied with the wideness you have now fine you can also go ahead and trim it down a bit if you want so i'll go ahead and cut out another one for the left side and if you are cutting the right side sh should be facing the right side of the order so i'll go ahead and cut out so after cutting out if you are satisfied with the curve fine leave it like that but if you still want to make it um tinier you can go ahead and do that so i am done cutting out that detail for now and this is what i have so if you open it up this is what it will look like at the front so i'll go ahead and cut out their lining and this is the lining i will place them on this lining and i will go ahead and cut out so i will add a hard interface 
thickest gum i don't know what people call it you can use a color gum for it you can use the peplum that is the thickest peplum gum for it and i will add it on the lining i will not add it on my fabric if you have been following me for a while you will notice that i don't normally add interface on my doll face because it will rumple so i will add it so this is the interface it is very very thick i'll add it on the lining i will add it on the lining for the right side and for the left side so it is very very thick that is what i will add on the lining so if you go to the market you can tell them color gum or the thickest gum thickest gum is around 350 or 400 naira the color gum is around 600 to 900 naira depending on the area so that this is the skirt part i am done turning the skirt part i'll go ahead and take my measurements and it will shape the skirt so this is for the front part i have added my pad that is my wording i've added my wording to the right side and to the left side and i have joined them so this is for the front the front is in two places i told you that the center front is open so here is the yoke for the front but before i add this yoke i will add that detail that i cut out before i'll go ahead and turn that detail and add it before i join the yoke so i'll go ahead and check if the detail is okay so i'll measure from where i want the detail to be to the point where i want it to stop at the chest line so i will indicate there that is from the area where you want this yoke to start from you will measure it the area where you want the detail the detail to start from you will measure it you use your tape and measure from the point to where you want it to stop around the chest line so i will measure i will start measuring from the middle so from the middle i will measure and i chose where i wanted it to stop that is around the armhole and that was 13 inches so from the from where the yoke will start from um to where it will stop that is 13 inches it depends on how big the person is so if i'm turning this yoke right if i'm turning this um detail right now if i'm turning this detail right now i will leave 13 inches that is around the curved area around the curved area i will measure from that pointed part i will measure from there and i will get where my 13 inches is at and i will stop there so if i am turning this detail i will not cross this point where i marked these 13 inches i will only turn the rest of the detail and i will leave from that 13 inches area to the pointed part so i'll repeat the same thing on the other detail i will mark 13 inches that is from the pointed part i will mark 13 inches so i misplaced them when i was um, doing that so i'll go ahead and arrange them so that the right side of the lining will be facing the right side of the fabric then from the pointed area you will measure 13 inches so from the pointed area you measure 13 inches and mark so that is where you will stop sewing if you are turning this detail so you go ahead and repeat it on the other side from the pointed area you will measure 13 inches inwards and then you will mark so i am done turning and i'm trimming off the excess so if you check well you will notice that i did not cross that point where i marked 13 inches i did not cross it so i'll go ahead and trim off the excess lining like i told you if the person you are making this for is fat it should be from 35 so you can see that 13 inches area is open but the rest of the sides are closed so you can see what i have here so the reason why i left that 13 inches area is because i will join it around the yoke area i will join it around the yoke area before turning with my lining so i'll go ahead and turn them out 
so after turning i will give them a very nice press So I'll go ahead and give them a very nice press. Then I'll come back and show you guys. So the area where this detail should stop should be very close to your armhole. It should be very, very close to your armhole. So you measure from the center and then you stop around your armhole. So this is the lining for the front side. I am done joining the lining for the front side. So that is it so this is the back part i will go ahead and join the yoke for the back part sorry this is not the correct yoke so i'll go ahead and join the yoke for the back part then after joining i will turn them with their lining so this is the sleeve i have also shaped the sleeve is a very long sleeve so i i hemmed the down part and i shaped so right now i'll go ahead and join the yoke and turn for the back part so here is the back part i am done joining my yoke and i am done turning with my lining and this is what i have so if you want to add a dart fine but i didn't add a dart to mine so this is the detail and this is the front part so right now i'll go ahead and add my detail like from that area where i started measuring from i'll go ahead and join that detail to that 13 inches area so i'll join from the center to that 13 inches area and you can see how it looks so this method is very very easy very easy so i'll also repeat the same thing so you can see i did not close that 13 inches area i'll go ahead and join that side and i'll also repeat it on the other side so i am done with the right side i will go ahead and join the one for the left mm -hmm. side as well so i am done joining for the left side so right now i will go ahead and add my yoke like i told you guys you will join this detail before adding your yoke so i will go ahead and add my yoke so if you watch that video on how to make a bustier with a deep yoke or a plunging neckline a deep plunging neckline you will understand in detail how i made how i joined this yoke so i'm not going to show that so watch that video i explained very very well i don't want to rush the explanation here so i am done joining my yoke i will go high i'll go ahead and turn the right side and the left side with my with their lining and then after turning them with the lining i will iron very well so i'm trying to cross check and know if all of them started at the same point and they are okay so right now i will go ahead and sew with my lining so you will notch the center of that yoke and you can now go ahead and join your lining so you turn the right side and the left side with their lining so i am done doing that and i will go ahead and turn out so after turning out i will iron so if you were if you can be able to top stitch though it will be hard stop stitching that neckline will be hard if you cannot just iron it and insert your hemming gum so this is my hemming gum i will insert my hemming gum round that neckline area and then i will iron it down because not notching and top stitching that curved area around the leg neckline is very very hard i won't lie so you can just place your hemming gum and you go ahead and iron that area down so after ironing it down you will notice that it is very very flat so i'll also go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side you will insert your hemming gum round the neckline area around the yoke area and you will go ahead and iron sorry i almost burnt this dress i thank god that it happened to 
the lining. So that is it for now. So this is what it looks like from the front and it is very beautiful. So right now I will close the zipper allowance for the back part. I'll go ahead and close the zipper allowance for the back part. That is what I normally do. I will close it and iron before joining to the front. So after doing that, I will go ahead and iron the zipper allowance and then come back and join the front and the back together. So you can see how I placed them together. Then you go ahead and take your bust measurements and your waist measurements. So after shaping the bust and the waist, you can now go ahead and join your shoulder. So when I was cutting this dress, the wideness of the neck was 2.5. The depth of the front neckline was 2.52. The depth of the back part is... 2.5 so that's it i'll go ahead and take my bust and my waist measurements and then go ahead and shape so if you are shaping make sure that the bust measurement did not cross that 13 inches area so you can see that 13 inches area that i marked the detail did not cross there and i still have a little space for my armhole so i'll go ahead and trim my half length and i'll trim my armhole that is if necessary but make sure that your detail did not cross that armhole line make sure you have a little space for your sleeve joining so that is it right now i will go ahead and join the down parts so the down part you are free to make it any style you want but for this video i for my clients i made a three quarter gown for her so i'll go ahead and join and after that i will go ahead and iron so after ironing you cross that detail to the back so this is the detail it is still open at the back so you cross it to the back and then join it to the zipper allowance you pin it down on the zipper allowance and then you add your zipper and that will be the end so after adding your zipper you can now add your turtleneck so that's the end of the video guys so guys please do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first to get notified see you later bye